Now, in this video, we are going to talk about what is a linear search or you can say ON time complexity. So what is ON time complexity means the linear time complexity. The runtime increases linearly with the input size. It means the more and more input size that we are giving to the specific algorithm, it will take more time at the runtime. For example, if you see this particular simple for loop, I have written a variable n equal to 10. Now we are starting a loop from i equal to 1 up to less than equal to n and n is 10. So we know that this loop is going to print I am a Batman 10 times and then we are appending i over here and same i will be increased n number of times means 10 number of times over here. So when you run this particular program here you can see that the same statement at line number 38 is getting printed 10 times over here from 1 to 10. So what is the time complexity for this? Now this n equal to 10 could be any number tomorrow it could be 100 also then in that case if i'm running it then the time complexity will be o of 100 you can see that so it's printing from 1 to 100 tomorrow it could be 1000 also and then 10 millions also any number that you really want to use a long number or some big decimal number or big long number also you can simply write it over here but for example let's see i'm running it with 10 so i know that it will be executed 10 times so let's see if I really want to calculate the time complexity, so at a time of interview, you have to derive a formula, a linear equation formula for that. So for example, let's see, we start from here and we know that, okay, integer i is equal to one. It, this guy will be executing only and only once. So I'll say, okay, one. And then the next statement I'll be adding with plus and then i less than equal to n. It means this statement will be executing in this case, 10 times. If it is hundred, it will be hundred times if it is thousand it will be executing thousand times so i don't have a fixed number because this entire for loop this algorithm is actually based and it's actually dependent on n over here the value of n so in that case i'll say okay fine in a very generic term i'll say n number of times this i less than equal to 10 this statement will be executing then the condition is satisfied then it will execute this print statement it this is also going to execute n number of times in this case let's see 10 number of times so i'll say n number of times because i'm deriving a generic a general formula over here then it will go and then increase the value of i by one n number of times once again so if you calculate all these n's so i can i say that this is a 3n plus 1 so this is giving you what this is giving you a linear equation right mathematically if you present this is called a linear equation right and if you really want to see the uh, the time complexity of this so time complexity what we do you see plus one over here plus one is coming because of this i is equal to one you think about it if i'm writing let's see 10,000 or 100k times also and uh, more and more numbers that i'm giving n is equal to this what is the significance of this for example let's see this entire algorithm is taking around for example let's see around 90 seconds to execute or let's see five minutes to execute assume that but this what is the significance what is the role of i is equal to one how much time this guy is i equal to one is taking this is taking let's see for example around 0, 0. or 0. 0.0001 second that's it so five minutes overall alg algorithm is taking what is the contribution of i is equal to one in terms of time consumption it's only 0 0.001 second because it's getting executed only and only once. This is giving you almost a constant time here. So in that case, whenever we have to simplify the formula, we keep ignoring and keep avoiding or keep removing the constant values from here. So I'll say, okay, fine. After removing plus one, I'm getting only three N over here. Now there are N number of statements. Also I can write, let's see if I'm writing more and more lines of statements here, then it could be this factor also could be uh, different number over here so I'll remove this 3n also from here then finally I'm getting n so I'm removing I'll keep removing the constant this 3 constant also from here so finally the time complexity it is denoted with big O of n here so this for loop is giving you what a linear equation graph a linear equation time complexity that is denoted by O of n you can see that's why you see here O n linear time the runtime increases linearly with the input size so tomorrow if i have added let's see uh, more and more data in it then in that case instead of five minutes it might take 10 minutes also 30 minutes also so more and more number of inputs that i'm giving 
in that case more data that we are getting it over here let's take one more example a linear search algorithm that we do it's a simple algorithm it says that okay traverse the array so i'll provide one input array and then match the key element with the array element whatever the key that you are passing you just match it and then if the key element is found return the index position of the array element so i'll simply say array of i is equal to equal to key then you return the index of that particular key otherwise you return minus one here so what is the time complexity of this linear search the time complexity of this linear search is also big o of n so if you really want to run this particular call this particular method let's call it and let's see so i'll do one thing let me just comment it out this one i don't want to execute as n number of times i simple call this particular method that is a linear search method linear search method i'm going to call it from here linear search says okay fine you give me one array so I, before that i'm going to declare one array let's see this array is equal to some array that i'm writing let's see 1 comma 3 comma 44 22 56 77 and let's see 11 like that and then what is the key the key also i'm passing integer key is equal to i'm looking for 56 give me the index of 56 in this particular array so we know that index this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 it's available on the fourth index so i'm passing array and this is the key and i'm calling it and then the whatever this method will be called whatever it's giving and then i'm storing in some integer for example let's see integer index is equal to this and i really want to know system dot or print talent print the value of index it means in this particular array what is the index of 56 so let's run it and let's see the index of 56 is giving a 4 over here that is absolutely correct you can see this is 0 1 2 3 and 4 so what kind of algorithm it is this is a linear algorithm how many times it will be executing in linear algorithm each and every you can see i is equal to 0 each and every element will be compared with the expected key that you are looking for so first it will go and check with 1 is equal to 56 3 is equal to 56 44 22 and then finally the moment i see 56 is equal to 56 immediately i'll return that particular index if nothing is matching i'll return minus 1 over here so in that case what is the time complexity it is getting executed from 0 to up to 4 so i can say o 4 or in a very general term i can say o of n because tomorrow i can look for 11 also or more elements are there i can look for a specific uh, value which is available on a specific number on a specific index so in a very linear term i would say this is giving you a big o of n here i'll write it like this right okay but there is one thing if i'm looking for let's see key is equal to one in this particular array i'll directly pass one over here so i'm looking for key one in this particular array and the moment it sees okay array of i is equal to equal to key it means the first element one is equal to one yes so then no need to proceed further immediately return i over here i is equal to zero and zero is what the index of one so in that case this is called <coughs> this is called what in that case i'm getting big o of one over here okay so this is called best case scenario or best case time complexity you can say that and then i'll say that big o of n is okay worst case time complexity so wherever we have to calculate the time complexity of any algorithm we always consider that in the worst case obviously in the best case it will give you a a better result but in the case of worst case what is the time complexity that is denoted with o of n that is called a linear equation for this particular algorithm so if someone is asking you the interview question that okay for the linear search what is the best case the best case is o of 1 and what is the worst case time complexity will be o of n over here so if you see this 3n plus 1 it's giving you a linear equation and if you uh, draw the same thing on the linear equation where exactly it will go so it will go like this i'll just uh, draw a simple uh, diagram or simple line over here so this will give you o of n over here something like this over here like that okay so i'll write this is big o of n here where n is the size of your input so the more and more input size that you give the more time it will take over here so that's why if you combine the lines let's see if you have only five inputs then you can just check that okay it will execute around let's see around 0 0.5 seconds let's see these uh, y axis is the time in number of seconds and this is the input size but suddenly let's see your 
input size is around 50 then in that case it will start taking more time over here then suddenly if you say that okay now the time uh, the input size is around 5000 and then it will take around you know around 40 seconds or 50 seconds like that then if you have more data let's see 10000 or 15000 then in that case this it will increase over here like this right so this is a linear graph equation people might ask you at a time of interview that what is the linear graph uh, for the o of n can you please draw it so you, this is how you have to draw it like this i hope it's clear